This election, we saw about a 26% turnout. 15,504 voters cast their ballots. That is a pretty strong turnout for this type of election, historically over what we've seen. Staff and election judges spent a lot of time over the summer holding a mock election, going out to a community events, reaching out to a variety of different community members in a variety of different settings to really make sure people understood A, that their ballot was going to look different this year, and B, how they should complete it. We visited farmers markets, movies in the park, concerts in the parks. We went out to different neighborhood block parties. In total, we visited and had contact with more than 80 different events going on throughout the city in the summer of 2021. We were very excited to hold a mock election, a fun, unofficial election, the beginning of August for folks to come and try out ranked choice voting, use it on a ballot to select their favorite city park and favorite city recreation facility. We had 401 voters that cast ballots in that election, and I would say we spoke to at least 200 more, just explaining how ranked choice voting worked, how the ballot was laid out. It was a great opportunity for us to interact one-on-one -on -one with our voters and really ensure that they felt comfortable and understood what their ballot was going to look like come election day. From all that feedback, we were really able to then develop our materials for the precincts and our training for our election judges to ensure that we were answering those most frequently asked questions and making things clear to voters in our materials and in our instructions they were receiving in the polling places. We also created videos for our voters to go on and in a very quick snippet be able to understand how to mark their ranked choice voting ballot and then also how we count those ballots after election day. We also spent a lot of time putting information on our social media, on our city newsletters. The local newspaper had information about ranked choice voting and League of Women Voters had information about ranked choice voting. There are two different ways that communities can choose to count ranked choice voting ballots. The first is a spreadsheet method, which obviously is a lot faster and a lot less time intensive than the hand count method that we used here in Bloomington. But the reason that we wanted to use that hand count method is because the first time we used ranked choice voting, we really wanted the community to have that opportunity to come in and physically see how the ballots are being moved, see what we're doing in the reallocation process, see all of our election judges hard at work accurately tabulating those results. Our ranked choice voting tabulation center was staffed by election judges who received additional training in processing ranked choice voting ballots and doing that counting process. We had all of our judges teamed up with a buddy from a different major political party than themselves. And so all of the tasks within the Ranked Choice Voting Center were done by those two judges working in a pair during each task. One of the questions we sometimes received from voters is, what happens to my ballot? How is it secured in between when I cast it and then when we do the hand tabulation starting that Thursday after the election? And so what we explain to voters is that on election night, all of the ballots are sealed by two judges of two different political parties in their precincts. And there's a seal number that's attached to that and there's tracking that goes along with that seal. And then as soon as it's brought back to City Hall by two judges, it is immediately locked into to a secure ballot storage area. And then that ballot storage area has a log so that we know who's been in and out and nobody can be in that room unless there are two, at least two people in the room at a time and they have to sign the log. Those ballots stay in that secure room until we are ready to begin our ranked choice voting tabulation. At that point, they are brought out by city staff and election judges and we had a police escort as well. And all of our election judges did such a fabulous job. They're all a dedicated, wonderful group of people and really appreciate the service that they provide here to the city. And we, we couldn't run elections without them. The final part of the process for our election results is for them to be canvassed by the city council, which was done on Wednesday, November 10th. That means those results are now official and those candidates that were successful will be sworn in next January.